Hey there everybody, this is Ryan. Welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Blue Nuzlocke Part 9. We just arrived at Cerulean City. We're gonna check everything out. Yeah, yeah, I'm making an encyclopedia. Amusing? I'd say that's pretty damn awesome. What are you doing, buddy? Living a normal life? Huh? Huh? Oh, wait, I'm already talking to somebody else. <laughs> they all look the same to me. Bill has lots of Pokemon and collects rare ones. Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemaniac. Well, he probably is a maniac. We'll meet him later. Oh, that Bill. I heard he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. Well, don't crap your pants now. <laughs> Anyways, let's heal up here. We'll take a little look around the city here before we go to the gym and kick Misty's ass because she's going to have it coming. The amusing thing is, in Pokemon Gold or Silver, Misty is actually dating Bill, so... Well, I think she's dating Bill. I can't remember. She was dating somebody, and you go, meet her up with her north of this... this city. So I find that a little interesting that they twisted it up there. Person B, Deer, and Evolution cancels hope. Yeah, we went through this. I want a bright red bicycle. I'll keep it at home so it won't get dirty. Then why get the bicycle? If you're not going to use it. Oh, women. These bikes are cool, but they're way expensive. Well, how expensive could they freaking be? I mean... Yeah, I'm going to purchase a, a bike. One million dollars! What the hell? What kind of sleazy ass place is this? Well, f screw that. Seriously, one million dollars for a bike. You know what I'd be doing with a freaking million dollars? I'd be. I'd be working on my, my education, making sure that, you know, I'm gonna be living alright. Now, this is. I know this is absolutely boring. <laughs> if, I'm sure a lot of you are like, if I had a million dollars. I'd be rubbing it in people's faces and seeing them weep and, you know, I'm going to buy, like, a gold statue chiseled to my likeness. Oh, wait, that's the greedy kind of millionaires. Anyway, so let's buy a few potions here. I haven't even been paying attention to the dialogue, to be honest. I was just like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Got, yeah, a few Pokeballs. I'll buy some more balls. Why not? Anyways. An old married couple. Awesome. Uh, sure, sure. Let's see what he wants. Hello there, do you want to trade your Poliwhirl for a Jinx? I don't have a Poliwhirl. That's actually a good trade, but considering this is a Nuz Nuzlocke version, Nuzlocke challenge? I doubt I'd get it, so... Yeah, it is what it is. Owned only by skilled trainers. Have amazing secrets. Now this guy basically tells you what every single badge gives you in terms of bonuses. So there's the Boulder Badge, um, there's the Cascade Badge, Thunder Badge, Rainbow Badge, Soul Badge, Marsh Badge, Volcano Badge, and Earth Badge. Those are the eight badges. So it's kind of interesting, kind of interesting to fill in, fill you in. And right here we have a hidden treasure, a rare candy. All right, I can't do that as good as H.C. Bailey. H.C. Bailey, excuse me. Uh, we're not going to be heading up there yet. Let's talk to this police officer. It's obvious that, that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our force, police force, has trouble with the rockets. You realize there's somebody right behind there? Oh, forget it. Naive cops. What is this world coming to? Eh. Uh, let's talk to... Oh, right, right. Um, talk to this guy. Here's my advice. The leader, Misty, is a pro who uses water Pokemon. You can drain their water with plant Pokemon or zap them with electricity. Well, thank God we have a grass type. Not necessarily going to drain them, but 
Let's do it! Let's do it, bro! Swimmer wants to fight. Ah, horsey. This is what you were trained for, veggies. Kick their asses. Basically, if you started with the grass type Bulbasaur like I did, as I said in a pre few previous videos before this, excuse me, <laughs> as I said a few videos before this, Bulbasaur is good for the early games, as obviously shown with these first two gyms. So that's really nice. I mean, you really don't have to train any of your other, any of your other Pokemon until after this, um, this gym. We'll see about that, buddy. I'm more than good enough for you. Misty can wait. Can't we have a threesome? I guess not. Maybe after this. Maybe after this. Ooh, a Goldeen. Wait, shouldn't that be in Misty's... Mm, never mind. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Eh, might as well risk it. And the risk pays off. Awesome. You overwhelmed me. That's what she said. Anyways, let's take on Misty here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Hi, you're a new face. Trainers have to turn... The, the, the. What is your approach when you catch Pokemon? That was stupid of me. My policy is an all-out offensive water-type Pokemon. And here it comes. Our second battle against a gym leader. Misty, who's looking smoking hot. Our first combatant is a star you. Let's show her what vegetables can do. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> Know what that sound is, Misty? That's the sound of your inevitable doom. That's right. Alright, Root Seed. Starmie is a formidable opponent, so... And this is one of the rare moments where an AI-controlled opponent will use items. You would think a lot of these trainers would have common sense and actually use potions and all that. I would assume they have them, but... Eh, it is what it is. Alright, one t attack should do it. Am I going to kill her with Leech Seed? No. I will kill her, however, by smashing my face right into her skull. Or Ruby. What is that, anyway? Wow, you're too much. Oh, right, you can have the Cascade Badge to show you beat me. And I got 2,000 bucks. Makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders. There's more. You can now use Cut anytime. That's pretty useful. You can use Cut Downs. You can cut down small bushes to open new paths, and you can also have my favorite TM, which has Bubble Beam, if I recall. Yep. Use it on an aquatic Pokemon. Shut up. Yeah, you're still saying the same thing, of course. Well, that was easy. You beat Misty, what'd I tell you? You and me, kid, we make a pretty darn good team. What the fuck were you doing? Just standing there, being my little cheerleader? Oh well. I could be like Gary from the anime, have like... Three or four chicks always rooting me on with pom-poms and skirts. Oh yeah. Anyways, that will be wrapping up this video. Pretty short, but you know. Next time we will be heading up to see Bill. So I am Rai. Hope you guys are enjoying so far, and I will see you guys very soon. Happy gaming, everybody!